In this lesson, we will learn about the Z channel, also called a Z depth pass, which can be created by a 3D rendering software. Now, this is an image or channel which creates a great deal of data, and it will allow you to take your compositing to a whole new level. Let's take a look at a Z channel in this image. You can see that the Z channel is represented in grayscale, with pixels that are white being closer to the camera and pixels that are black being the furthest pixels from the camera. All of the gray colors between the black and white define how far away that part of the image is from the camera based on the scale of the scene. Now, the scale is really independent in terms of depth because one 3D scene may be in inches and the next 3D scene may be in meters. Let's explore an example of using a Z-depth pass in compositing an image over a background element. You can see here how the fog starts at the back of the image and can move forward towards us covering various parts of the image very accurately. Now this is all controlled by the gray values in a depth channel. You can also use the Z-depth channel to create really interesting depth of field tricks. For example, when a blur is applied to this image and then limited by a Z channel, you can create a cool depth of field effect really, really quick. As you can see, the Z channel is a great addition when compositing your images and will increase the believability of your final output.